Okay, our next candidate for County Council number uh, District 3 is Stephen Mathis. Yes, sir. Thank you. Steven, huh? I would like to thank everybody, uh, the Republican minority, for inviting me to speak tonight. And I'd like to thank the, the doctor in two weeks. I can put weight on my foot. Um, what can I say that would be entertaining and uh, enlightening to the minority party? Um, in 1922, my grandpa was born in Cowpen, South Carolina, as a 12-pound baby. He about killed his mama. <laughs> Shortly thereafter, she got weed. She was not making enough breast milk to feed him. So Dr. Martin said, I know a lady in Cannons that's just recently had a child. You need to take her to Cannons. I'm sure if you asked her, she'll be a good wet nurse for him. I'm thankful to that black Afro-American woman who kept my grandpa alive. If it wasn't for her charity, her mercy, realizing that all lives matter, I wouldn't be here. Now. Uh, the proof is in the pudding. What do I have in a, as a track record for promoting and helping minority businesses? I bought the American Fast Print building over on Business 85, and people told me I was a fool for buying it. It was so environmentally contaminated, nobody would have it. I bought it for $158,000. It took me six years to clean up 7.5 million gallons of industrial waste. The whole time I was doing it, I renovated the building. And it served as an industrial warehouse for me. I leased it out to a minority business. The time eventually came when a group by the name of Alliance came down from up north and they offered me a million dollars for the building. It came with one condition. They had identified reasons and conditions that I could terminate uh, the, the lease of that minority business. I told them to take their money and go somewhere else. I turned down a million dollars. It took them about 60 days to come back. And because I said no, not only was that minority business not evicted, they paid him $75,000 and helped him relocate it. Now, do a fact check, pick up the phone, call A plus pallets and ask Anthony Boyce if Steve Mathis didn't turn down a million dollars worth of business investment, check to help him stay in business. Me and Anthony are friends. I have many friends who are minorities. Now, I'm not going to take five minutes of your time. I'm not going to take ten minutes telling you. But one thing, everything is not great and rosy and spectacular in Spartanburg County. We have problems that need addressing. The things that we've done over the last 25 years are not going to help us going forward in the next 25 years. We need to come together as a community. We need to help the disabled. We need to help minority businesses. We need to improve our infrastructure. But we don't need to be concerned about money. We need to be concerned about people's lives, the quality of life in Spartanburg County. If I'm elected come Tuesday, I will not treat Spartanburg County like a business. I'm going to treat it like home. This is home for me. When I leave this place, I want to leave my kids just as good a place as I've had to live in over all my life. That's the only reason I'm standing here today. It's not for financial gain. It's not to see what kind of connections I can make or for the power, it's to help Spartanburg maintain what it always has been, and that's a great little place to live. I appreciate your vote. Again, I'm Steve Mathis. I'm running for Spartanburg County School, not School District 3, County Council District 3. Thank you.